Hi, I'm Garrett Reisman, and I was a NASA astronaut for 13 years, and I flew on two missions. The first was on STS-123 on board the Space Shuttle Endeavour, and I went up to the space station, I stayed up there for 95 days, which actually was kind of a bummer, because if you stay for 100 days, you get a patch, <laughs> which is a true story. But anyway, uh, I, stayed, I stayed up there for 95 days, and then the Space Shuttle Discovery came up and uh, brought me home. And uh, that was my first mission, about three months up in space. My second mission was on Atlantis, and uh, that's why I'm really happy to be here today at the Visitor Center here at the Kennedy Space Center uh, and get to see my old friend Atlantis again. And, and uh, that mission was really special. That was STS-132. And, and what made it really special was not just uh, flying on Atlantis and doing spacewalks. I got to do two spacewalks during that mission and doing the robotic operations, installing new modules on the uh, space station. All that was great. But what really made it great was uh, the crew. And the crew of 132 was a really special group of people. And after we were assigned, we knew immediately that this was going to be trouble. <laughs> and I saw Steve Lindsay, who was the chief of the astronaut office in the hallway uh, about a day after we were assigned together. And I said to him, what were you thinking of <laughs> putting us all together on one flight? This is going to be madness. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, and, uh, and, and he said, he said, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a horrible mistake. <laughs> but we did. We had a ridiculous amount of fun. But I'll tell you something. Um, the other thing about that crew is everybody was really good at their job. And of course that was first. And when we walked out, um, when you go out to, to launch in the space shuttle, you ride out in the Astro van and you get out and for a moment there they let you the crew, just in our case six of us on STS-132, stand uh, down here right at the base of the ship and you're staring up um, at this rocket that's about to blast you off the face of the earth and she's making all these noises because she's full of gas and she's ready to go and some of her machinery is already running and she's humming and, and vibrating. And uh, you're staring up at her, and you're such a little bitty speck down here, staring up at this massive space vehicle. The real one is bigger than this one. And um, and when you do that, it's it's pretty an, it's a pretty awe-inspiring moment. It's a very poignant moment. And at that point, the pilot of uh, our crew, Tony Antonelli, he put his arm around me and he said, um, "You know, Garrett, as much fun as as this is going to be, as much fun as we've had so far in training." we're gonna look really bad if we mess this up. <laughs> and he was completely correct. Uh, we would have looked really bad if we messed it up. But here's the thing, everybody on that crew, they were good. And we did that mission flawlessly. The spacewalks came off. We had unexpected challenges along the way. We had cables that got tied up in cameras um, and we had to go outside and fix it. Never were, never were planning to do that. We had electrical connectors that wouldn't go together, and we came up with innovative ways to overcome that. Uh, we, we had our own uh, our, our set of curveballs thrown at us along the way, but we overcame every single one, got the mission done uh, perfectly, and uh, our commander, Ken Ham, landed her. And if you know what you're looking for, go look at the landing of STS-132 here at, uh, at the Special Shuttle Launch Facility at, uh, here at the Kennedy Space Center. Look at it closely. It's one of the best you'll ever see. So it was a heck of a crew, a heck of a mission. And, um, and now it's, it's great to come back and, and, and share these uh, reminiscences as, as I look at uh, Atlantis and her beautiful new home. And I hope you get to come down here and do the same.